Hello, first certificate. How are you? This is Diana again, and I'm ready to continue working with you. I hope we have more people connected today. What do you think about last class? How was it? Was it okay? Okay, let's continue working then. Today we are going to focus on class number four. For today, you had to continue working on present simple and present continuous tenses, and for that, you had this handout in the virtual classroom in class number three. Did you have time? I hope you did because we have to continue working as hard as usual. Remember, if you are watching this class live, your teacher is in the chat for you to interact with her or him and to ask any questions you might have. Let's get started. So in the first activity, you had to underline the correct alternative. A has been already been has already been done as an example. Number two says, I can't talk now. I cook or I am cooking dinner. Please, uh, every time I ask a question, I expect you to write in the chat the answer if you can, or at least say it out loud. So you you practice a moral English, even though I'm not there with you. Yes, B is I'm cooking. Very good. I'm cooking dinner. Clearly the person is talking at the moment of speaking. What about C? What shall we have? Do you like fish? Yes, do you like fish? A fact. D, can you borrow this typewriter? Are you or are you using it? Yes, right now, are you using it? Please write your answers in the chat if you can. E, what? Do the people here do in the evenings? A habit. The question is asking about the people's habits. F. Follow that bus. Then turn left. What about this one? Then you turn left. It's given an instruction. Good. G. A lot of people think that the sun goes or is going around the earth. Yes, of course, goes, a fact. Excuse me, are you reading your newspaper? Could you borrow it? Right now, it's a dialogue. We are talking about what you're doing. Good. I. Do you wait or are you waiting? What do you think? A or B? Chat, tell me. Yes. Are you waiting? Same case as the previous one. And finally, Andy builds or is building his house in the country? Yes, is building. I don't think he has many houses in the country. I mean, his own house, one house, he's building it right now. Okay, good. Questions? Go back to the chat if, if you want to go back to, to any of the, of the answers, please. Good. So I move on. Okay. Let's move on to the second activity. Put each verb in brackets into either the present simple or the present continuous. Again, the example has been done for you. Are you ready? I am going to just write the answers and if we need to discuss, you, you tell in the chat, okay? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Am I wearing the wrong clothes? Again, at the moment of speaking, this is not a difficult use of the present continuous. I am looking after Jack's dog this weekend. Do you want to take it for a walk? I am looking this weekend, future connotation. Good. D. Who drives that Mercedes that's parked outside? It is parked. Nobody's driving it right now. It's parked. Good. I still have pain in my leg, but it is getting better. I still have a static verb. Remember we discussed them last class? Okay. Who is so dancing with? Right now, I'm looking at so, so, present continuous. Okay, let's move on. 
to letter G. Harry always looks untidy. He wears dirty jeans. We could also have used the present continuous here if we reflect on the fact that uh, we can use it for annoying habits, right? What about age? I am writing and replying to your advertisement in the daily news. So the person that said this was writing at the actual moment, right? I. That plant I bought is not growing very much and I watered it every day. I put water on it. Did you know that water is a verb too? Which hotel do you stay in when you come here? The copy is missing the question. Good. Have it. Where do you stay? Okay. Any questions? Speak now or keep it forever. Okay. Activity three. Decide whether the verb form in italics refers to the present or future time. Remember, we can use present for future reference as well. So, what are, what are you saying on Saturday night? That's future reference, right? Present continuous for future reference. What about B? The end of the year, again, future. What are you doing when the guests arrive? Again, future, they haven't arrived yet. I'm trying really hard to understand this book. Good, present. E. Wait for me until I get back, meaning I'm not back yet, so future. F. Sue is leaving this morning. She hasn't left yet. This morning, future again. Letter G. I'm waiting for the bus at the moment, right now, present. I'm off now and I'm taking the car. Now I'm taking the car. That's present again. I'm taking a car. They're showing a Woody Allen film on Channel 4 tonight. Future again. And what about Jay? I'm going for a walk this evening. Yeah, that was easy. Simple. Future again for letter G. Okay, guys, any question you have? Let's discuss it in the, in the chat with your teacher, okay? I hope you did time... You, have, you did some time to do this um, and you can follow the class live. Okay, if you remember in class number three, you also had to work on the exam maximizer book as well. Page number six, activities one and two. If you don't have the book, I uploaded that page so you could work on it. Remember, you can also stop by the Institute and get your book here. Okay. I am on page number six. You have to find eight words in the word search related to music. Can you tell me in the chat what you found? I am seeing at the moment concert here. Yeah. What else have you found? Oops, my bad. Um, instrument here on the top. Please help me in the chat. Performance, very good, here. Mm, what else? Audience, right here, very good. I love word search. Drummer, the musician, here on the right. Um, anything else? Help me, I can see them. Mm -mm -mm. What else? They are eight, three, four, five, I have five only. Okay, I know Okay, I found culture as well, diagonal, culture here, good Here's guitar, okay And again diagonal we have punk and that's the eighth, am I right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. That's number eight. Okay, so going back to our homework from last class, number three. We have already checked the handout and we are checking page six. Activity one is ready. Now let's go to activity number two.
Okay, I am the exam maximizer book. Remember, we have done activity one. I am now on activity number two. Find, the cor find and correct the mistakes with collocations in sentence. So these are phrases that you are familiar with and you had to find a mistake. I really think listening music is relaxing. Yes. The mistake is that two is missing. Listening to music would be the correct way of saying this. So um, two was missing there. Good. Can you play at a musical instrument? Tell me in the chat what shouldn't be there. Okay. At shouldn't be there. You play a musical instrument. Number three, I try to go as many live concerts as possible. What about that one? Are you sure? Can you post your answer in the chat? Yes, again, two is missing. So we say try to go to as many concerts as possible. Uh, to go to that would be sounds like a tongue twister but that that's the correct way have a look at number four yes you look you watch television no preposition here number five what about it collocation here yes you don't make the shopping you do the shopping so you have to replace the verb. Good. What about number six? Again, the infinitive is missing. I tend to stay. Yeah, especially these days, right? Are you staying at home? Number seven. What about it? Collocation again. Yes, you don't make yoga. What's the verb? Good. This is in the mind map, remember? Check it out. Doing yoga. And finally, number eight, I'm really in rock music. No, I'm really into rock music. No preposition. I mean, yeah, that is a preposition, but that's not the, the correct one. I'm really into rock music. I love the strong beat. Okay, well done. Any question? Any comments? Nope. Okay. Let's move on, guys. Okay, now I'm on page 12 on the course book. We are going to work on listening today. Okay, are you ready? Get the book, come on. So, here we have some statements which I want you to tell me in the chat which are true for you. I'm going to read them and I want you to comment the chat with the letter that you feel identified with. A. I like following band members on Facebook and Twitter. B. These days I only download music that's free. What about that one? Do you do that? You can tell me, yes, I do. I go with B. Let's move to C. I think the videos and bands makes are just as important as their music. So videos are as important as music. What do you think about that? Do you agree? You don't? D. Most people haven't heard of the music I like. E. My music tastes are quite varied. F. I spend a lot of time listening to music at home with friends. Well, I hope not nowadays, right? G. I often discover new bands through personal recommendations. What about that? H, I prefer listening to live music. Good. I'm going to point something out. I prefer listening, ING, prefer ING. Bear that in mind, prefer plus ING form. What about that one? Do you like live music? Well, again, not today. How are we you doing with this coronavirus crazy shit? Well, I hope you are staying at home. I hope you are keeping yourselves and the people around you safe. I love listening to live music. I really do. But nowadays, I don't have so many bands that I love. Okay. Now, 
you will hear five people talking about listening to music. We are only going to listen to speaker one, okay? We are only going to listen to speaker one. Which things does he mention? What topics does he mention in his piece, let's say? To do this, I want you to go back to the virtual classroom because you have the audio here, okay? I will ask you to listen to this from the virtual classroom. Look, can you see? In class four, we have the audios, audios course book page 12. You click there. And you have two files. I, I am going back to the book. Here you have the track number. In this case, it is number four. Can you see it? So in the virtual classroom, you're going to play track number four. Yes, you click there and the audio file will be opened for you. Unit one. I am not going to play the audio in the video because I am not sure if YouTube will ban the video due to uh, rights infringement. So look at my screen. The, video, the, the, um, the audio is 49 seconds. I am going to play it in, in my computer so I know that you're doing it, but you're not going to listen to it in my computer, okay? You listen to it in your computer, in your cell phone, whatever you are, okay? I am going to give you some seconds so you can be ready, you can open the audio, be ready to listen to it. Okay, I'm giving you one minute to get everything ready. Okay, take your time. I'm, I, I'll wait for you. Don't worry. In the meantime, if you have any questions, you, you can ask your teacher in the chat. In the following lessons, please, um, when the class starts, make sure you have your book, your folder, you have everything ready. Um, so we can, we can take the best advantage of our time together. Okay, I hope you're ready. So, um, let's get started. You have one minute to listen to the audio and I will be showing you the book in case you don't have it, okay? And in a minute, we'll go back to comment your answers. Make sure you play the video. Sorry, you play the audio. Okay. I'm Unit 1. Listening video. Focus. So Activity 2. Speaker 1. I suppose I've always been mad about music. I used to listen to my dad's favourite rock bands from the 60s, but now I'm just into the same stuff as my friends. Hip-hop, mainly. Some people I know always want to be different, so they'll only listen to new bands that no one's heard of. It's just a way of showing off, I think. My group of friends are always sharing music files and telling each other about new discoveries. I found a lot of new bands that way. But it's the music I'm interested in, not the personalities of the band members. So I don't usually bother with Twitter or Facebook. Okay, let's move on then. Tell me in the chat which of these topics um, does the speaker mention? Okay, does the speaker mention his state in, in music? His taste in music? 
Yes, it does. What about new bands? Yes, it does too. Twitter, task mention Twitter. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. And what about video? Yes or no? No, he doesn't mention videos. Okay, now have a look at these extracts. These extracts were mentioned by speaker one, the one that we have just listened to. Which one matches one of the statements A to H in activity one? One of these extracts, one of these, means exactly the same as one of these. We have to match them. Okay? What I'm going to do is to show it like this so you can read everything. I don't know if it's too small. Okay. If you don't have the book, you can read from my screen. So there is one in exercise three that matches exactly one from exercise one. I am going to give you a minute, two minutes. Okay, I'm, I'm putting the time on my phone. Two minutes, read everything carefully. Don't give any answer yet, wait for me. make sure they mean the same, that the message is the same. There might be tiny details that make it different. You ready? Please don't get distracted. Okay, I give you too much. <laughs> okay, what do you think it is? Which one, which two mean the same? A and four or D and two, there is only one in each. Okay, the correct one is three. 
which one does number three match? If you haven't chosen three, I am giving you now a new chance to think with which letter you're matching with. My group of friends are always sharing music files and telling each other about new discoveries. I found a lot of new bands that way. Which one is it? Yes, very good. So, my group of, of friends. How did the speaker refer to a group of friends here? Yes, personal recommendations. Okay. New discoveries. New bands. Very good. Okay, this is basically what you are supposed to be doing when you do the five speakers activity. Okay. Very good. Let's continue then. Now we are going to move on listening to the rest of the speakers. We have already heard uh, speaker one and we have matched what he said. Now we are going to listen to speakers two to five and match the statements from the list A to H in activity one with what, with what each speaker says. Use the letters only once. There are three extra letters which you do not need to use. So we are going to go back to number one here and you're going to tell me what does speaker two say as we did with speaker one okay you're going to choose speaker two speaker three four and five okay i am going to show you this on the screen but you have to go back to the audios that we have in the virtual classroom mm -hmm. the same page i show you showed you a minute ago you click now on track five and you're going to listen to this two and a half minute video okay i am going to give you five minutes to do this unit because one i want you to listen to it twice okay get ready open the audio you will have five minutes to do this and in the meantime i will show you this screen um, I want you to continue listening on your own, okay? Now you're going to listen to this one. It is track five. I showed you how to listen to it in the virtual classroom. I am going to be silent for five minutes so you can listen to it twice, okay? You ready? My five minute silence start now.
Okay, I hope you were able to find your answers. We are going to discuss the five speakers. Speaker one, we did together in the previous activity, so we know it's G. I'm going to write the numbers on letters because I cannot use numbers on, on this computer. The explanation is too long, so I'm just going to write letters. That's speaker one. What about speaker two? Who is speaker two? Can you tell me in the chat? Yes. A is speaker two. Good. What about speaker three? Can you tell me? B is speaker three. Very good. Tell me about speaker four. What have you chosen? Please share your answers in the chat. Let's try to make this as interactive as possible. Your teacher is live and alive, I hope. Number four is E. Very good. This is speaker four. And finally, what about five? We have C, D, F and H left for you to choose from. However, remember you have three extra options. Speaker number five is D. Very good. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit difficult to go through details in this kind of activity, not being face to face. So remember, that if you need to listen to this again, you can go to the virtual classroom and listen to it as many times as you wish. Also, you have the script available. That means you can click there and find the exact words the speaker said, okay? And of course, you can contact your teacher, send a message through the virtual classroom or wait for next class and, and we discuss it. We can ha have uh, more time to discuss it, okay? But keep working, keep practicing. Okay, perfect. This is the end of the listening activity. Now we are going to continue working on course book page 11, guys. Previous page, yes? If you don't have the book, don't worry. You can work with me on the screen. We are going to be dealing with phrasal verbs with take, with the verb take. This is our target phrasal verb today. Um, I have already introduced these phrasal verbs last class, from class number three, in the mind map, remember? Um, of course, you don't have the copy, but you can download uh, the handout from the virtual classroom, and I hope you have taken down notes, because remember, let's try to keep this as normal as possible. Here you have some sentences with the phrasal verbs used in context and five definitions. I want you to match the examples with the definitions. Let's do the first together. His career took off as soon as he won the prize. He is so talented. This is similar to the example I gave you last class. Your career, see your career as, um, as a plane that is leaving the airport higher and higher in the sky, meaning that you are becoming what? Yes, successful. E. Become, well, I'm not going to write it. Become successful. That's the definition. Number two, he takes after his father, who's really musical. Have a look at the options we have here and comment in the chat which letter is the correct definition. Are you there? Don't leave me. Yes, have similar characteristics, very good. Number three, I took up the saxophone last year. I took up, meaning, yes, see, you start a new activity, you start a new hobby. Tom took over as the band's manager when Sam left. To become responsible for something, you take somebody else's chores or activities. Mm -hmm. I give you remember. I don't know if you remember, but I gave you an example with supermarkets taking over. Number five. I made him take back what he said about my taste in music. Yes. To admit you are wrong, when you take something back, you say I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I take it back. It was wrong of me to say that, okay? I think you know that one. They, they use it a lot in movies. 
Okay, the, we have worked with this because the main objective of this uh, page is to work on the choices activity. You will notice that in this kind of activity, your options are usually synonyms that at a simple glance, they look the same, but they are not because they have small differences, differences in meaning or because what comes before or after the gap. Sometimes you have a definition, um, a preposition, a phrasal verb, or something that tells you that only one is correct. I am going to ask you to have a quick reading at this text. Read the text about a musician quickly and say what is different about Josh Freese's relationship with his fans. What's different about George Freese's relationship with his fans? Don't worry about the gaps yet. Forget about completing. I'm going to shut up and I will give you two minutes to read it. I'm going to, to keep it in the screen in case you don't have the book. Okay, so the question is, what is different about George Fries's relationship with his fan? Can you tell me your answers in the chat? Okay, now I'm going to, to leave you again for some seconds, a minute. So you can discuss this question in the chat with your teacher, okay? What is different about George Fries's relationship with his fans? Discuss this in the chat. Please, it's important that you interact and that you connect at the time of your class. Okay, let's move on. Blank number one has already been completed. George Fries is a very successful session drummer based in Los Angeles. Okay. I want us to discuss why is C the correct one and not the others. I mean, what's wrong with the other? What's wrong with situated, located, and lived? Again, I expect you to give your answers in the chat. Why are A, B, and D wrong? According to the book, C is the correct one. That we know, but what's wrong with the others? Okay, you might have noticed that A and B are wrong because you use these verbs to describe a location of things, the location of things, rather than people. You don't use situated and located to describe people. On the other hand, D is not correct because after lived, you need the preposition in. It should said um, to be correct, it should say it's a session drummer who lived in or who lives in, okay? Is it clear? Makes sense? Okay, now let's have a look at the options for, for gap number one. Look at the options for gap one and answer the questions. 
which of the verbs A to D can be followed by OF. You probably won't have mm -mm, OF HIM, OF HIM. Which of these can be followed by OF? Only one can be followed by the preposition of. Yes, it's heard. Heard of. Very good. You cannot recognize of. Not noticed of. No, no. Heard is the only that is correct. Now, I am going to allow. Let's check my. I am going to allow five minutes. Or is that too much? Yes, let's say four minutes for you to choose the rest of the options. Again, I am going to show the text and the options. I don't know if it'll be big enough for you. I think that is that that's the best I can do. Well, we have already done number two, so you don't need to see that one. So I will move, I will be moving the screen a little. Okay, four minutes, start working. Questions in the chat. Have a look at the exam tip too. Here. Think about which word might fit the gap before looking at the options. Check each side of the gap to make sure that the option you choose goes with the other words. Well, what we have been discussing just a second ago. Don't share your answers yet. We'll we'll do that together. If you have any question regarding vocabulary, uh, remember in the virtual classroom you have a dictionary and a teacher in the chat. Two more minutes. Okay, one more minute and we start discussing your choices.
Okay, let's move to the correction part of the activity. Okay, now it's time to check this activity. Please, let's uh, continue. Well, you cannot read for me, so I'm going to read for you. George Friese is a very successful session drummer based in Los Angeles. You probably won't have heard of him, we said, but he's played with some very successful bands. When Friese... What? What have you chosen for number two? Tell me in the chat. When Friese released, sent, presented or brought? Yes. When he released you release an album a movie okay release lanzar we would say in spanish when he released his first solo albums called 1972 he decided to set up a system where fans could buy something unique by what by doing what yes by communicating by communicating with fans directly he opened he hoped i'm sorry by communicating with fans directly he hoped to sell more of his music the city didn't cost much but if you paid 50 dollars for it you would also get a personal five minute thank you phone call sales of the album quickly took what Yes, took off, Despegaron. they took off, but there were other limited options which gave fans the opportunity to miss phrase in, in person. The option to have lunch with Freeze for $250, out, this is the key, what out, sold out, very good, no more tickets sold out in about a week fans could also what number seven what have you chosen yes receive a lesson they could also receive an individual drum lesson from freeze for two thousand and five hundred dollars there were other offers ranging from ten thousand dollars to seventy five thousand dollars wow not all of these were it taken what taken up by fans started or done by fans but a teenager from florida actually purchased the twenty thousand dollars option and spent a week on tour with freeze wow a lot what do you think about it would you do it i mean do you have a, a band or a singer or a celebrity maybe that you admire so much that you would go through something like this i don't think i do i don't think i would spend this much money on anybody what about you please interact in the chat now i want to show you this part of the book I am on course book page 200 and it is very interesting because you will find all the details about each paper in the exam. Today we have been dealing with listening and also reading and use of English. The activity that we have just finished, the, the choices activity, is called multiple choice clause. And it's important that we have very clear what we are being tested in that part of the exam. Part one tests your awareness of vocabulary, including words with similar meanings. It also tests some grammatical features, for example, phrasal verbs and fixed phrases. That's why we dealt with phrase, uh, phrasal verbs with take. What do you have to do? Read the text with eight missing words. That's very important. First, you read the text. That's why. We read it first and we, I asked you some comprehension questions so you could focus on the meaning of the text and not only on the blanks. Choose the correct word or phrase from each set of four options. Only one is correct, remember that, only one possibility. Then mark the correct letter A, B, C or D on your answer sheet. Okay, today we didn't deal with answer sheets. Strategy for this activity. 
with the title and the text quickly to get a general idea of what it is about without trying to fill any of the gaps. Then read the text again, stop at each gap and try to predict what the missing word or phrase might be without looking at the options. Look at the options now for each gap carefully. Try putting each of the options in the gap to see which one fits best. Check the words on either side of the gap before and after to see if the option you have chosen goes with this. Read the whole text again to make sure the options you have chosen make sense. Do not leave a blank. If you're not sure, choose the one which seems most likely. Well, remember we discussed this in class. Don't do this during the mock exam. Don't play tic-tac-toe and let's hope for the best. No. In the mock exams, let's try to be responsible and, and to make the best choice so we have a clear idea of, of how we are doing. However, the day of the exam, yes, you, you do tic-tac-toe, you pray, you do whatever you need. Of course, and then the day of the exam, you will tra transfer your answers to the answer sheet. Okay, of course, I want you to continue working on this at home. You are at home already. Yeah, I know. But I want you to keep practicing so when we meet again virtually, because cl next class will be virtual as well, I want you to have doubts, have questions. This is going to be your homework. Since we worked on listening, you are going to do an online listening. Then you are going to go to the exam maximizer page eight. I'm going to show it to you so you know exactly what you have to do. Grammar on page eight, exam maximizer grammar page eight. This is the activity I mean, simple and continuous forms in the present. You continue working with tenses. And then the following page, that is page number um, nine, you're going to work on use of English, another choice. Okay, here you have activity one and here you have the choices. Only that. Three activities only, listening, present tenses, and choices. Not much, right? Remember to, again, go through the strategy and start working on how to deal with these activities. Um, I am going to upload the exam maximizer pages here. Now, at the moment that I'm recording this, I don't have them, but by the time of your class, you will have it too, uh, in case you don't have the book, okay? And um, please keep working, please contact us, any doubt, any problem you might have. It's been a pleasure. Um, I hope to see you again soon, guys. Take care. Bye.